Elon Musk's deals with Russia and the UK could possibly destroy Russia. Want to learn more about it? Stay tuned until the end of this video. Welcome to Elon Musk era. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our upcoming videos about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and more. Elon Musk has finally said that he will stop Russia. In the middle of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, Elon Musk has openly criticized Putin, saying that he thinks he can stop the Russian threat. In the middle of the Eastern European battle, the tech mogul seems to have an answer to all of Vladimir Putin's plans. According to Elon, he will prevent Ukraine and the International Space Station from crashing, while Putin tries to destroy both. Is that something you're looking forward to? Well, stay tuned until the end. Musk has blasted Putin by promising to save the International Space Station from destruction after Putin and Russia threatened to end bilateral space cooperation. And Musk has credited his company, SpaceX, for saving the International Space Station. By using Moscow's modules, the International Space Station will be kept stable. In a tweet, Russia's space chief, Dmitry Rogozin, said that if the U.S. does not cooperate, then who would prevent the ISS from deorbiting and plummeting into the U.S. or its allies? Amid the Eastern European conflict, this was seen as a direct threat to the United States. Continuing this threat, Rogozin stated that India and China might be subjected to a 500-ton structure. So, considering that the ISS will not pass over Russia, which means all hazards will fall on the United States, he questioned whether the U.S. desired to scare them with this scenario. Consequently, he asked if the United States was accustomed to such a devastating attack. It appears as though Russia's threats are lethal, but Musk's fast tweet was meant to humiliate Russian President Putin by implying he would stop Russia. Upon responding, Musk tweeted the SpaceX logo. His response was essentially that his company, SpaceX, would step in if the world was in trouble if Russia broke off its space relationship with the United States. Perhaps you're wondering if SpaceX is actually capable of this, or is it all talk? After Russia leaves, there is absolutely no doubt that SpaceX will keep the space station running smoothly. This is because the SpaceX's Dragon cargo craft is capable of docking with the International Space Station, or ISS, and keeping it stable. In demonstrating that the world can function without Russia, and because of Musk's commitment to protecting the International Space Station. This is an embarrassment for Putin. Meanwhile, Putin and the Russian government have stopped supplying the United States with rocket engines and increasing nuclear tension in the Ukraine has brought the threat of nuclear war ahead. During an interview with Roscosmos director Dmitry Rogozin for Russia 24 television, the discoveries were revealed. In an announcement, the head of the Russian space agency announced that rocket engines would no longer be supplied to the United States. In light of SpaceX's superior rocket engines to those who purchased from Russia, CEO Elon Musk has once again humiliated Russian President Vladimir Putin. I believe it is fairly evident that whenever Putin tries to create a problem, a tech genius always comes up with an even better solution. Further, SpaceX's Raptor engine is capable of incredible feats and will be used to propel the Starship to Mars. Also, SpaceX will send people and payloads to Mars that are 480 million kilometers away with the Starship, a massive rocket that can be recycled over and over again. In other words, it will travel for seven months to cover the distance between Earth and Mars. Neither SpaceX nor Raptor engines are more accomplished than their counterparts. Therefore, it may be prudent for Moscow to keep its missiles to itself. Reports in the public are already pointing out that Putin should focus solely on the politics of Moscow since he seemed to be more successful there. On the political front, he has been the president and prime minister of Russia for more than 21 years, and he isn't looking forward to stepping down anytime soon. When it comes to avoiding embarrassment, it is sometimes necessary to rely on your strength. Meanwhile, it is a known fact that in the aftermath of the Russian troops crippling Ukraine's internet networks, the iconic tech firm activated Starlink pretty quickly. Putin's plan to isolate Ukraine from the rest of the world through disruption of internet infrastructure suffered a major setback. After getting a request from the Ukrainian Prime Minister, Musk intervened so that the people of Ukraine may access internet services. With this, Musk developed Starlink as a means for ongoing technological advancement. As Musk attempts to populate Mars, Russia is attempting to take over Ukraine. As part of his tweet, he said that the Russian rockets will kill Ukrainian civilians while Musk's rockets land safely in space. Musk responded to the minister's tweet by stating that he had already established an operating-style service in Ukraine and that there were more terminals planned. The internet connection is very useful for Ukrainians now that we know how important it is. 
Since they did not expect Elon to respond so quickly, Russia and Putin were humiliated. This is when Putin became aware that Musk was constantly counterplanning his intentions. State Duma, the parliament of Russia, is considering imposing fines on all individuals and organizations using Western satellite internet services in the country. According to the new regulations, Starlink subscribers will be charged between $135 to $405 per month, while organizations that utilize Western satellite services will be charged between $6,700 and $13,500. Despite Starlink's ban, the satellite internet service is growing in Eastern Europe. So, as mentioned, Starlink, a spacecraft operated by SpaceX, is in Ukraine right now. Starlink has over 250,000 subscribers from 25 different countries after witnessing phenomenal growth over the past three years. As of February 3, 2022, SpaceX has launched 2,091 satellites. Further, Musk's company intends to launch 42,000 satellites that will power the world with constant internet access. So would Russian President Vladimir Putin be embarrassed by the achievements of SpaceX? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and share the video. The answer would be perhaps? This is because obviously, with the help of Elon Musk, Ukrainians can now access the internet. In retaliation for Russia's aggression, Ukraine's Vice Premier Mikhailo Fedorov has successfully enlisted international security organizations, technology companies, and billionaires. The Ukrainian army and civilians caught in the middle of the war are even soliciting funds from him on Twitter. And he stated that Ukraine has raised $50 million in crypto in a week to support the country, stating that Ukraine's crypto fund has raised this amount in a week. Despite the onslaught against freedom and democracy by President Putin, he hopes to have $100 million and is confident that he will achieve his goal. There is no question that Putin is deterred by the international community's support for Ukraine and well wishes. All of this is due to Twitter, which uses Starlink satellite internet in Ukraine. It would have been impossible for Ukraine's vice prime minister to launch an online campaign against Russia without this connection. Amid SpaceX Starlinks expanding into Eastern European countries, Putin is noticing exactly how Musk is thwarting him. In addition to Ukraine and Poland, it is predicted to spread to Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania in the Baltic region. In a tweet, Musk said he would take action to stop Putin in Russia and back Ukraine. He said, Hold strong, Ukraine and there were three Ukrainian flags on the left and three on the right. As a result of Elon's words of encouragement, the Ukrainian troops and population will be inspired to defend their country. In the past, Putin has been humiliated by Ukraine since he encountered far more backlash than he had anticipated. Additionally, Putin predicted that Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, would submit soon after the strike. On the other hand, the Kremlin is taken aback by the declaration that Zelensky and Ukraine will continue a bitter fight. At one point, the U.S. asked that President Zelensky be evacuated, but he responded by saying that the struggle had already begun, and all he needed was armors, not a ride. This is a good example of support for the Ukrainian people. In addition, he stated that they are prepared to fight Russia instead of simply eloping. Despite Moscow's admission that Russian servicemen have been killed for the first time, the exact number remains undetermined. The Russian Defense Ministry claims that only 498 Russian troops have been killed, as opposed to almost 9,000, according to Zelensky. Meanwhile, Putin would suffer a major setback if his troops were even a few hundred short. We all know that Moscow has an enormous military advantage, so it did not expect its soldiers to be killed by a much smaller Ukraine force. Having over a million Russian troops facing a military with only 1,700 soldiers humiliates and embarrasses Vladimir Putin. Elon Musk will certainly continue to use his influence with fortune. SpaceX, and Tesla to thwart Putin's goals. It appears that Elon Musk will continue to criticize Putin's plans until the war in Ukraine is ended. Can Musk end this war? Do you think so? Let us know in your comments below. Thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.